welcome to the series Inside Earthster. Earthster, as you might know, is an online tool to measure the environmental impact of products and services. And we're building this tool right now. So we've decided to make this series of short monthly videos to engage with people, to let you know where we're at and where we're headed, and to get feedback from people like you. So if you're watching this on YouTube, leave your comment on the comment section down below, or go to earthster.org and engage with us in any of our social media. So this is how the product looks at the moment. And I'm going to show you how we'll create one product. I'm going to model a watch. And um, in the, what this is going to do, it's going to create a cycle. Cycle is short for life cycle of the product. So it's going to load up all the stages. First, it's going to ask me what type of product it is. And we have here a list of categories. And I'll pick, I have here watches, clock, and other similar. And I'm going to model per dollar. And I'm going to say that it's produced, so the life cycle is going to happen in the US. And I click Save, and what it's doing now, it's going and fetching average data for those watches, clocks, etc. And bam, here I have my environmental impact. Of course, it's not mine, so it's not my product. I haven't told it enough yet. But it already gives me a map of where my biggest impacts are likely to be. So I can see that the use phase is likely to be the, the biggest. So if I click there, I see that, unsurprisingly, power consumption while active is going to be something that I need to detail a lot more. So if I click here, I see that this is the average dollars consumed per dollar of the product. And I can turn that into a different value. Let's say that I have my spend data available and that's the amount per dollar that I'm producing. So you see that the numbers are updating in the background. But I can also do this. I can also say, well, let me look for a better, a better model of that and I'll say, it's low voltage because it's my user and it's bought directly from the market, so not from any specific producer. So I've got three of them. So for the for the geography that I specified before, it tells me where in that geography, which one is the relevant one that you want to pick up. So I'll say Western electricity and I'll put an amount. And now you see that I have both of them there. Both of them because I haven't deleted this one. I can delete this one and then I have only the other one that I specified. So you see that I have in real time my my footprint calculated. Now, what where are we heading next? The next level that we have is uncertainty. So we want to be able to show you right away how good or bad, how coarse or fine is the data that you have. So you have now we have information here from the template, but we've also specified a few based on physical units, based on processes. So that that data is normally a lot more specific. And then if you were to pick from one of your suppliers, so get specific data from those suppliers, then it gets even more specific so that you can navigate and pick based on how good the data is, not only how big the impact is, but also how good the data is. We're also working on how to make the search experience easier so that you can pick the best models and it suggests the ones with the least uncertainty for you. And we're also helping you in grouping the different uh, the different impacts, the impact, different categories so for, the, for when the product is more complex and also helping you model the functional units so that it's not always dollars, but you can have several functional units so that you can compare easily. That's been all. And uh, I'll hear you latest in one month, if not sooner in the comments down below. So I'm looking forward to your comments and to starting the conversation. Thank you very much.